Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Walking in the Light. Today's episode is entitled, The Light of God's Favor. Let me say that again. The Light, L-I-G-H-T, of God's Favor. Our scripture is taken from Job chapter 22, verse 28, and I'm just going to paraphrase. In the Amplified Version, it reads, you shall declare and decree a thing, and the light of God's favor will be upon your ways. I don't know about you, but have you ever lost something valuable, for example, a cell phone? in a public facility. Well, that happened to me recently. Matter of fact, about a week ago, I got home after Sunday service and I was looking for my phone, couldn't find it. Search all in my car, nowhere to be found. So I didn't panic. I had to find my app um, on my cell phone. And so I went on my computer and, and sure enough, the computer showed that it was located on the street that my church is located. So quite naturally, I'm thinking that the phone is actually in the building. So I called the church, asked a couple of folks to look around the church to see if they saw my, uh, my phone and, and no one found it. And I was like, wow, the Find My Phone app is saying it's on Church Street, which is actually, believe it or not, that's the name of our street, the street that our church is on, and no one found it. And so then I heard, why don't you just go up to the church and look yourself? So I drove back about 25-minute drive. I drove back, spent about an hour, hour and a half, and nowhere to be found. And so what we decided to do was just to come together and pray and just believe that God will somehow, some way, bring this phone back to my possession. And we left it. The folks that were helping me left the church and I just sat around for a little while just to, just bewildered, you know, thinking that the app is telling me that it's at the church. And actually, so I thought. And, um, and it's nowhere to be found. So finally, I uh, got to my car and I was about to drive off. And one of the members who was searching with me, part of my search committee, if you will, one of the members that was searching with me said, uh, Pastor Ray, is this your phone? And as she approached me, I didn't recognize it because it looked crushed. Actually, what was crushed was the case. The case was crushed. And um, the front of the surface of the phone was all marred and scratched, at least so I thought, but that wasn't the phone. That was just the protector material over the phone. And so when I finally took off the case and took off the protector for the surface of the phone, I realized that the entire phone did not have one scratch. You see, we got together and we declared and decree a thing. Three hours that phone sat in the road, hundreds of cars drove over it. And God protected it, just as God will protect you and I as we declare and decree a thing, as we take action. You see, I could have just stayed home. Matter of fact, the app told me exactly where my phone was positioned. And sometimes that's what we do. We will read the word, we will gain the principle, and we will gain insight on the mental position or the mental disposition. But unless we take action and we cooperate and collaborate with what the spirit is saying in our mind and in our action, then and only then light 
will be shone on our ways. We shall declare and decree a thing, Job said, and the light of God's ways will shine upon us. I pray that this message was a blessing to you. It certainly has been a blessing to me. There is so much that is packed in that experience. I'll be meditating on that for the next few months, even years. See, faith without works is dead. I had the faith that I would find my phone. I had the faith that it will be found. But it required works. It required coming together and putting the word to work through prayer. If you've been blessed, once again, please share this message with others. Share it on Instagram. Share it on Facebook. To me, that's a modern day miracle. That something can sit, something as valuable can be rolled over, but it would be untouched. <laughs> and that's what the Holy Spirit does. People think that they're rolling over you, but we have been sealed by the power of the blood of Jesus. And we're coming out of these struggles and these troubles untouched because of the grace of God. Until we meet again, I'm Dr. Ray Charles. Take care and God bless.